Okay, so we've got that our wave function, capital Psi of x, y, z, and t is equal to a, e to the i, kx minus omega t. And in the first part, we're asked to find lowercase psi, which is just the spatial part. So what we're going to need to do is expand this out into its temporal part and its spatial part. So we can write this as a, e, to the i kx times e to the minus i omega t because when we multiply things because we when we multiply together things with an exponent we just add the exponents okay so this part here this is the spatial part the psi and this part here, this is the temporal part. So this tells us that our lowercase psi is equal to a e to the i k x. So that's the answer to part a. Now in part b, we were asked what's the value of psi squared. So psi squared is equal to psi star psi. This is lowercase. I know with my handwriting, they look fairly similar. So star, we have a e to the minus i k x, taking the complex conjugate, so putting a minus in front of the i, and then times psi, which is a e to the i k x. So this is equal to a squared e to the minus i k x plus i k x, and this is 0. So this is equal to a squared e to the 0, e to the 0 is 1, so this is equal to a squared. And physically, this is the probability probability of finding particle at x in a given time interval. 